my friends, it's I'm here today and today I'm gonna show you my Instant Pot. The Instant Pot is an electrical and programmable pressure cooker and it makes cooking so much easier. You can switch the pot on and then go away, I don't know, sleep or have a shower or I don't know what. And when the meal is ready, there's a signal and you know it's ready and then you can switch the pot off and yeah, you can eat. The pressure cooker, like the name says, is cooking with pressure and that's at first of all good because the cooking is much quicker than with a normal pot and the temperature is lower because the pressure is so high the temperature can be lower and that's good for the vitamins. When you get the pot for the very first time you also get some equipment with it. Um, first of all this grid, you need the grid when you use the steaming function because um, you can put this grid in the pot and then the vegetables on it and then you can steam the vegetables. And you also get this little cup and I always use it when I'm cooking rice. I use one cup rice for one person and you get a receive book with a pot and there you can um, read the, um, the water you need with the rice Usually it's one to one, so one cup rice and one cup of water and that's usually enough depending on the rice you're using. And you also get these two spoons for the rice and they are very useful because they don't scratch the pot in the inside. And because this grid is very small, it doesn't really fit in the pot, the pot is bigger than the grid and um, there are holes in it. I only use it when I'm cooking potatoes because potatoes are very big and that's okay but when I use vegetables that are cut in small pieces I have this, this grid, it's from Ikea and it's like you can open it and it has the perfect size for the pot and the holes are very very small so the vegetables um, don't fall into the pot and you get this little thing with it so you can yeah put the grid out of the pot when it's hot and I would recommend to buy this too when you're buying the pot because it's really much better than this one. And now I'll explain you the different programs. As you can see there are many different functions and the two programs I use um, the most is the rice function when I'm cooking rice and I, sw I switch the cooker off. Now you can see that it's written off and when you press the rice function it's written 12 minutes and rice is a special func function because you can't, um, you can't change the time, the cooking time. Now you've heard the sign and it's written on and now the pot starts to heat and to build the pressure and when it's ready to cook it switches from on to the minutes 12 for example and then the minutes um, count down and when it's ready there's the sign again and you know um, the food is ready and you can switch the cooker off here keep warm and cancel the other function I use very often is the steam function for potatoes or vegetables and there you can change the minutes 
it's written 10 now you can change to 11 12 usually for potatoes I use 9 that's enough and for vegetables um, even less 3 or 4 minutes you can also use the timer function when you press timer it's written 6 hours now you can change the hours maybe 8 hours and when you press timer again you can change the minutes 10 minutes, 20, 30, 40 and it's 8.40 now so in 8 hours and 40 minutes the cooker will start heating up and building the pressure and the countdown starts and after 8 hours and 40 minutes the cooker will start cooking until it's ready and when the cooker is ready it automatically switches in the keep warm function so when you're not at home when the cooker is ready or when you are still busy it won't switch off but in the keep warm function so your meal will be kept warm until you switch it off and you can also switch the keep warm function off for example you will steam your food and when you press steam again the light will switch off and the keep warm function is off now so when the meal is ready the instant pot will switch off and you can also use the saute function and you can use the saute function with an open lid and it's the same like frying in a fry pan and for example you can first fry the onions like this and then you will make a soup and then you switch to soup or first off and then soup and you can cook the soup in the same pot and you don't have to use a fry pan as well so you can make it all in one pot and I forgot to mention that there's the steam release and you have to switch it in the sealing position when you start cooking and when your meal is ready you have to switch it in the venting position so that the steam can release and the pressure will, be, will go down. I hope you enjoyed watching my video and if you liked it press the like button below or if you have any questions, write it in the comment box below. I would be really happy to hear from you. And in the next days I will show you some receipts um, with a pressure cooker. And yeah, see you next time.